I think today what I'm doing is actually a Dragon's Den first, and I hope to blow them away with my entrance. I think the Dragon's faces will just be in shock. It's a really, really exciting new industry, and I just hope that one of the Dragons sees the potential. Hello, Dragons. My name's Mark. I'm the founder um, of Drone Safe Register. We are um, a UK network of CAA-approved drone pilots for hire. And we are the UK's most visited website for drone hire. We currently have just under 400 uh, members, and we charge a subscription. And we're here today to ask for £60,000 for a 20% share in our business. I look forward to any questions. A concise pitch from company boss Mark Boyt, who's willing to hand over 20% of his online drone pilot register in return for £60,000 of the Dragon's cash. Deborah Meaden is ready for liftoff with the questioning. You couldn't wait to get that over, could you? Yes. You look, you look <laughs> much more comfortable driving I the am, drone yeah. than you did in yeah. the pitch. So that's fine. Yeah. We can ask questions. Right, I actually don't particularly like drones, and I particularly don't like those ones that take photographs of my property. Yes. But that doesn't matter. Down to business. So you're a drone hire business, OK? Yeah. CAA... Approved pilots, approved yes. Approved yes. pilots? Yes. Right, so you don't hire me a drone. If I want a drone, I hire you with a drone. Yes, you hire one of our members, which can be found nationwide. There's a huge problem in the UK at the moment. There's lots of illegal drone operators operating. We provide illegal drone operators. There's 4,120 approved operators in the UK, and we've probably got, you know, 20% of the market that there is at the moment. Great. So when I'm looking for a drone operator in my region... Yes. ..you're actually offering us, I think, the platform. Correct. Excellent. A safe and legal platform. You should have had me doing your pitch for me, I know, I'm Mark. so sorry. You know, it's, uh, <laughs> it's quite... A, right. It's probably the most nerve-wracking thing I've done in my life, so... <laughs> Deborah Meaden draws out a bit more detail about the nervous entrepreneur's business. And Tej Lalvani wants to determine why a drone directory would get potential customers calling. Drones are very cool. I love them. So, in terms of the type of business that people use drones for, what is the largest segment? The largest sector at the moment is inspection work, because it's safer. You know, we did a church spa inspection. They were quoted £14,000 to put scaffolding up after a lightning strike. Right. And then we did it for £800. So, inspections is the main requirement, and then after that? Inspection, I'd then say property marketing. Right. You know, 700,000 homes for sale in the UK currently. But, you know, our members don't just rock up at a job and, and, and obviously start filming, you know. We, we are the best in the UK, you know. We have some of the top, top people. And some of the jobs they've pulled off have been amazing. What is the most expensive job yes. you've had on your platform... Yes. ..that you've had so far? I think one member had £18,000. So, 18000 what was that it for? It was a Bollywood film. A Bollywood film? Bollywood film. Mark. So, how do you generate money? So, we, we invite professional members to join for £180 a year. How many of those 400 members are paying you currently £180 a year? I would say probably 80%. So, sort of 320 members? Yes. That's yes, quite a lot, isn't it? Uh, They're paying you £180? Yes, yeah. So, that's one barrier of income. Yes. What's another area? We also invite hobbyists to join which is £14.95 a year. How many of those have you got? We've only got 400 at the moment at £14.95, which is about £6,000 a year. The hobbyist is more like a lost and found service. We had one recovered from the North Sea about three months ago. Someone sent us an email and we found a drone. So it does work. And then what about your commission? Do you take commission no, off at, at, the moment, at the moment, we don't take any commission. Why wouldn't you do that? Why wouldn't you push and drive 
people to your site to actually make those bookings. Which is why I'm here, you know, I've, I've taken it so far and I've done it all on my own and that's why I'm here in Dragon's Den to hopefully get some guidance from people that run national companies. An appeal for help from the aerial entrepreneur who admits he's still finding his feet when it comes to maximising profit. Tuka Suleiman now wants to find out if Mark's idea can really take off. So today you're pitching for your platform. Yes. It charges no commission. Yes. It's totally on subscription. Correct. So how big can it get? Give me some numbers for the next two years. You'll turn next over Next two what? years, we'll turn over. But let's, let's look at, I'm, I'm not a postgraduate, so I can't come out with, with figures, you know, instantly. I'm not particularly great at figures. But we should um, have about 600 members by the end of next year. So in total, next year, what will you turn over? Next year, we should turn over about 200,000. And your net profit? A net profit out of that should be about 60 to 70,000, depending on how much money we spend on marketing. OK. Look, Mark, I'll tell you where I am. I think it's a good little business for you. Mm. But you can only get it so big. Yes. Without a lot more investment. And I know nothing about drones. So I'm afraid I'm not going to be on that flying journey with you. OK. And I'm not going to invest and I'm out. Thank you very much anyway. Thank you. Tuka Suleiman exits the drone investment opportunity. And Tej Lalvani is wondering if its niche appeal could be an obstacle in the flight path of this business. Mark, I think what you've done is great, but the market size is my concern. You said there are about 4,000 CA approved pilots, so even if you were to get half of those, that still only makes your business £400,000 a year. So what happens from there? We can increase the hobbyist registrations, which we haven't sort of marketed yet. At the moment, it's a very small niche market, I agree. But it's only going to get bigger. It's only going to get bigger. We're, you know, we're at the very, very start of it, and we're two years, two and a half years ahead of anyone. Look, I really like what you've done with the business. But I think right now it is limited in terms of where you can get to. Mm. But I'm excited about this industry, so mm. I am going to make you an offer. Wow. I believe in terms of creating a brand and awareness is going to require time. So yes. I'll offer you all of the money. OK. But I want 35% of your business. OK. Wow. I'm as surprised as you. Please don't say that. <laughs> Despite his reservations about the market, Tej Lalvani feels a buzz from the business and tables a bid. Deborah Meaden might not be a member of the Drone Appreciation Society, but does she think Mark's idea can fly? What I love about this is that you've taken your passion mm. and had this instinct, I suspect, that there was a business in this thing that I do, and you found it. But I am not an enthusiast. No. I therefore don't think I'm a good match for the business. No. I think you've got to do things you enjoy you and, have. you know, yeah. You have. So I'm really sorry, Thank Mark, you. but um, I won't be investing. Thank you. I'm out. Thank you very much, anyway. Mark, I like it. Thank you. I heard you say earlier, I'm not a postgraduate. Mm. Well, I'm not either. I left school at 16, so don't put yourself down. Mm. You've launched a, a great business here. It is niche, but it's mm. got potential. I can add a lot of value to this. So I'm going to make you an offer. Wow, OK. Thank you. I'm going to offer you all of the money. Yeah. For 25% of okay, the business. OK, thank you very much. Jenny Campbell swoops in with a killer offer, massively undercutting her fellow dragon. Only Peter Jones remains. Will it be fight or flight 
for the tech tycoon. So, Mark, I could talk to you for hours about this. Yes. I, I live this world almost every day. What drone do you use? It's quite new. It's called the DJI Inspire 2. The reason why DJI came to this country and the biggest supplier of drones actually in Europe is a company I own. So that drone probably originated from us. So I know this market yeah. really well. Yeah. So when you came in, I can't tell you how excited I was. <laughs> Excellent, brilliant. Because I absolutely love it. And there is no ceiling to this business. Mm. If you join forces with me. If I was to make an offer. Yes. What I'm going to do is I make it really difficult for you. Actually, that's not true. I don't think I'm going to make it difficult for you. I'm going to offer you all of the money, but I want 50% of the business. Mm -hmm. And I'm not embarrassed to say that, because I actually think that 50% of where this business could go in the next three months mm. is immeasurably different to anything any other dragon apart from me can do. Yes. Oh, oh bluster. Well, I wouldn't... We can talk all he wants. Oh, but... bluster. And they're the facts, because these guys don't know what they're talking about when it comes to drugs. Well, I do, he, well, uh, I do know that I can build a brand quicker. Of course like, you can't. Well, you, exactly. Why, you haven't why, got any access to do that. Of course I can. You haven't. All right, guys, well, stop arguing. You've got no, you got no chance. chance. I can't let 50%. I've worked, you know. That's why you've got a choice. You can go and have your ceiling yeah. and, and accept that, and that's what's right for you. There's no ceiling, Mark. After some intra-dragon squabbling, Mark now has three offers to consider. Tej Lalvani wants 35% of his company. At 25%, Jenny Campbell is asking for a much smaller piece of the pie, whilst Peter Jones is demanding a hefty half of the business. Mark came into the den offering to give away just 20% of his company. Is he prepared to compromise to secure a deal? Would you look at 40%, Peter? Would I look at 40%? Yeah. I'd look at 45, so you still keep control and it's your business. But you'll become quite a wealthy man. 35% and I'll help build your website, I'll help build your brand nationally so that you can get all that traction. I'd shake your hand at 40 today. Sorry to, to the both of you, but I'd shake your hand at 40 today. Mark, you're in danger of Mark, alienating yeah. the other dragons. Mark, I will accept. No, I will say I'm sorry you yeah. came for one person. Mark, uh, I'll I... accept your offer. OK, super. Thank you very much for doing that. Sorry, well done. Thank you very much for doing Fantastic. <laughs> really Shut pleased. After a three-way dragon dogfight, Peter Jones dramatically reduces his demands to ensure he secures the deal. The entrepreneur exits with the £60,000 he was seeking and a tech titan as a co-pilot. The most nerve-wracking thing I've ever done in my life, walking in there, but I actually got the dragon I wanted, so I'm absolutely chuffed to bits. That was greedy. Drones, that's my baby. I do love you, but you had no chance. Well, I'm not speaking to you for the rest of the day. 